A young man sits on a rocky coastline. My name oh, is Sean no, Joe Ben. A Quebec flag fluttering in the background. When I write a song, the idea can come from just about anywhere actually. Title, Our Canada, My Story. I grew up in and around Cornwall County, more specifically in St. Raymond. My father still lives there and I've always considered the city my home. I went to elementary school in English up to junior high, and then when I was in Saskatchewan I went to school in French, so I was part of a minority group in both provinces. I think it created a bit of an identity crisis for me because, you know, it's like being between two worlds, but it gave me a sense of belonging when I arrived in Saskatchewan. I mean, I saw the solidarity of the francophone community and totally identified with it. He plays vinyl records on dual turntables. When I was in high school, it was funny because there was like a line drawn between French and English music. It's like we had to be forced to listen to French music whereas listening to English music came naturally. I think it's stupid to do that because there are two styles, two ways of making music, and one is just as good as the other. He plays a traditional piano. I wrote Au Nom de la Nation when I was 16 or 17. My view of English language media was that it was very. We were too quick to accept what they were giving us, whether it was TV or radio, or even online. Wearing a ball cap, tropical shirt and a backpack, he enters a nightclub. He takes the stage, a microphone in hand. I chose to do rap because, well, basically I'm a fan of this music and I was very young when I discovered this style of music. I fell in love with the sincerity, sometimes the simplicity or complexity of the lyrics. I mean, like in all music. It was something that was still a bit taboo. It's a style that can carry a very heavy message and carry it well. I find it strange that everyone's first question, since I'm bilingual, is, why aren't you doing this in English? Why not in English? You know, there was a time when I debated whether to do rap in French or English, and the choice to do it in French just came naturally, simply out of love for the language, love for the culture, the sense of belonging, and all that. Each song is a work of art, and I think that's what I want to convey in my music. Je pense que c'est ça que je veux faire vivre avec ma musique. Allez, danse ta vie. The people who inspire me, well, what inspires me, I think it's humanity in general, our emotions, our reactions to, well, how we act in society. I find it beautiful and ugly at the same time. You know, it, there are these two extremes. Then there's a lot of sharing of knowledge, the stories that people tell me. Previously performing outside for listeners on a rocky shoreline with trees, he is now within a professional sound studio. I'm 23 years old and proud to be part of a generation that's becoming increasingly engaged across Canada, whether it's in different projects or working for a social, artistic or cultural cause. I do what I do, I do rap, I do what I love. I mean, I'm not an exceptional person, I'm just like everyone else, but I decided to take the bull by the horns and confront this lifestyle. It's extremely important to take your place in a community and in society as a whole, and to do it by being yourself. Cultural diversity, and even personal diversity, I mean hey, if you're you and you're different, even better. Celebrate that, be yourself, be someone who stands out. Back outside on the shoreline, he bows to his audience. Credits, Canadian Museum for Human Rights, Canada 150, with special thanks to Sean Joe Ben, a humanology film, an initiative of the Calgary Centre for Global Community.